Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL intro question that is Ashna Bayer intro recently. Given as a employee and department table, we need to find out a department wise second highest salary along with the employee ID also. If we look into the data, we have employee table with the employee ID, salary, department, and we have a separate table department with the department ID and department name. So we need to join these two tables based on the department ID, and then we can find out a department wise second highest salary. So if you look into the department HR, it is a 101. So for 101, we have three records. Out of all those three records, we can see second highest salary is 60,000. Out of 70,000, 50,000, and 60,000. So the second highest salary is 60,000 for employee D3. So that we need to get in the output. Similarly, if we look into the next department, finance 102. So for finance 102, we have three records. So first two records is having the same salary. And the next record with the second highest salary is 55,000. So this we need to get in the output. For employee D6, it is a 55,000 that we need to get in the output. Similarly, for uh, the next department, marketing, we need to get a second high salary. Uh, that is a 70,000. So in this way, we need to find out a department wise second high salary along with the employee ID. If you already know the answer, please pause the video and post your answer in the comment box. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. So let's see how we can solve this. We have a tables available. Employee table with the employee ID, salary, department ID, and department table with the department ID, department name. So we can find out a department wise second highest salary. And there are n number of ways to achieve this. Uh, one of the ways is by using a dense rank. So let's see how we can use a dense rank to get a department wise second highest salary. I will be using a dense rank first. By using a dense rank function, we will generate a rank. And based on that rank, we will filter only second highest salary. So very first step is we will join these two tables based on the department ID. On top of this, we'll be using a dense RAM function. So let's use a inner join to get to only a matching records from both the tables. Maybe I will assume this as a E, I will assume this as a D. Based on a department ID, we can join both the tables. Now if I execute this query, now you can see both the tables are joined and we get the output. On top of this, we'll be using a dense rank function. We'll generate a rank first. So this will be using a dense rank here. I'm doing a partition my department ID. So because we need to find out a department by second high salary. So we need to do a partition by department and uh, Starting by salary descending order. So highest salary should be on the top. Should be using a salary descending order as a rank. So in this way, we can generate a rank first and we can take only a required columns. Maybe I want to take all the columns from employee table and uh, only department name from a department table. And then rank. Now see, we are getting a ranks based on the department. Now for finance, we have two salaries uh, with a rank one because this of a salary is same salary. And next high salary we have is a 55, that is the second high salary. For But for other departments, we have all the unique salaries. So second high salary is 6,000 for HR and for marketing, second high salary is 7,000. The reason behind we are using a dense rank here is dense rank does not skip the rows. If you look into our department finance, so we have two salaries. First two salaries are same. We are getting a rank one. Next salary is a 55,000. We are getting a rank two. Uh, in case if you are using a rank here, rank will skip the row. So here you will be getting a rank three. So in that scenario, we cannot uh, filter only rank two. So if we execute with the rank, you see we are getting rank three here. Now if we filter a rank two, we don't get any record for finance. So that is the reason we need to use a dense rank here to get um, all the records without skipping any rank. Okay. In case if you have all the unique salaries, then you can use a rank row number also that is also fine. But in this particular scenario, we need to use a dense rank. 
so in this way we can generate a rank first so once rank is generated uh, maybe we can use a sub query or maybe i will create a ct out of it we can go rank is equal to 2 see it filters only those records with a department wise second highest salary so this is the one of the way by achieving uh, using a dense rank this query can be used for uh, any kind of scenario like a department wise second highest salary third highest salary fourth highest salary it can be any any salary and highest salary so we just need to provide here and highest salary number so if i want Fifth high salary, I can give five. If I want tenth high salary, I can give ten. That is about a uh, finding a department wise second high salary by using a dense rank function. There was a counter question from panel to provide an alternative solution. So let's also see how we can solve this by using a different approach. The other approach I will cover is by using a correlated sub query. Ah, uh, we need to get a employee ID also. so we need to make sure employee also should come in the output so starting with uh, we can join two tables first patient department id based on this query we are getting all the records from all these records we need to get a second high salary starting with maybe i will take only a required columns maybe a required only department name employee id and salary okay so these are the three columns we required but we required only second high salary so we can start writing here condition we need to provide here salary uh, what is the salary the salary will be a second high salary uh, for department hr it should be a 6000 6000 should come here and for finance it should be a 5500 5500 should come here to do that maybe we'll be using a correlate sub query we will find out the maximum salary first so based on the maximum salary we will filter only those salaries but this maximum salary should be on a department level not on the whole table that point we need to note it down so this i will take as a employee e2 so i'm considering this as a employee e2 table uh one condition we need to check here is we need to find out a department wise second high salary so on the department id from the outer query and the department id from the inner query should match so that we will be getting a particular department maximum salary So we'll write condition here. E two department ID or department name, whatever it is, it should match with the outer query department ID. Okay. Now if I execute this one. if i execute this one what i am getting here i am getting the highest salary department wise but we don't want to get a highest salary department wise we need to get the department wise second highest salary so for marketing it is the 80000 is the highest salary for finance 65000 is the highest salary for hr 70000 is the highest salary but we are not supposed to get this one we are supposed to get a second highest salary so we can write one more condition here maybe i'll give and salary so this salary should be less than the maximum salary similar kind of query i can write inside a one more sub query here also we can write a similar kind of query so similar kind of query i can copy here okay so here we'll be getting a maximum salary maybe we'll take this as a employee 3 table so here department also should match so based on department only we need to get a maximum salary 
So here employee three department ID should match with a employee two department ID. Okay. So these particular sub query will check for department wise maximum salary. So once we get a department wise maximum salary, we are comparing these records with a one more sub query. So here we'll be taking maximum salary, excluding the maximum salary from the main table. So we, so that we'll get a second highest salary marks. So that marks will be assigning to the uh, our uh, outer side query. So that you'll get only department wise second highest salary. So let's execute this. Now see, we're getting for department HR, 60,000 is a salary for finance, 55,000 is a salary for marketing, 70,000 is a salary. So very important thing is we need to get an employee ID also in the output. So if you don't want employee ID in the output, it is a very straightforward scenario. Directly we can find out a maximum salary on top of it, we can add a sub -key and we can achieve it. So in this way, by using a correlated sub -query, uh, we can get a department wise second highest salary. So these are the two approaches. Either we can use a dense rank or by using correlated sub -query we can get the output. That's all for this video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.